And now, coming to you from the Pensado Media Center, powered by Westlake Pro. Most say keep it 100, our guests keep it 1500 or nothing. Meet this amazing musical collective of hit makers. The Pensado Indaba contest is completely off the charts, and we got a brand new ITL from our Groove 3 friends. Guess where you're at? You're at the place, it's Pensado's place. Yeah. Hey everybody, thanks for dropping by. My favorite time of year is the time between AES and NAM. Right. So it's, it's a hol- couple of holidays in there too, but <laughs> yeah, a couple of favorite Thanksgiving, holidays. Christmas, New Year's. But it's yeah. a break and then we get ready to load up for New Year, right? Yeah, plus, got a lot of stuff coming. I don't know. Hey, yes and ma'am. What, what's better than that? I know, right? That, that's what I call your Super Bowl. Christmas is a letdown right, after exactly. that. Exactly. Well, you get to have Super Bowls on either side of the, of yeah. the year, so it's How pretty good. Buddy? I've been good. I've been good. Uh-huh. A lot going on. A lot to share yeah. with them. Shall we get it going? Let's do it. Here we go. Uh, hey, audio family. So good to be with you. Shout out to the best partners in audio, the Blackbird Academy, Vintage King, Avid, DTS, Lander, Fab Factory, Recording Connection, and our boys in D.C., Studio 202. Uh, man, as we alluded to, the Pensado Indaba Mix Contest is absolutely going bonkers. Yeah. All you producers, engineers, songwriters, artists, here's a chance to show your mixing chops. The band, Jesus on the Main Line, and the song is Always With Me. Um, here are the details. Contest started November 1st and is open for submissions all month long until November 29th. Voting will take place from November 29th to December 13th. Then we'll announce the winners. We'll call it the Christmas announcement uh, on December 27th. Now, what do you win? That's important. How about this? Grand prize, a feature on a little web show called Pensado's Place. That'll be good for your career. A Skype call with Dave himself to talk about your career and what you've done with your mixes. Um, You get stuff from Isotope. Their Neutron stuff is off the chain and Ozone 7. Tascam has the 2x2 track pack, which is an all-in-one system. Tascam is really coming in ways that that really impresses us. A one-year Lander subscription, perpetual license for Audionamics, and a pro status on Indaba Music. Second place, Tascam headphones, Lander subscription, license for Audionamics, and pro status on Indaba. And third place, Lander subscription, perpetual license for uh, Audionamics, and pro status with Indaba Music. So lots of stuff that you can involve. We saw metrics earlier, and people are signing up. And I actually talked to a professor, because we may be coming to Chicago and Boston, a couple other places, and a professor who's booking us said, I entered the contest. Have you heard it yet? And I was like, no, not yet. Exactly. It's so cool. Um, So here's the deal, folks. Get to this. Sign up right here. See this URL? Sign up right there. Let's see you do your thing. It's really important because a number of things happen from this. You get part of a collaborative community where you can see what other folks do. You get a chance for Dave to hear your stuff and other people to evaluate it. Those people who place, oftentimes we've seen their career blow up. Mm -hmm. And either way, you're going to advance your cause. So do that all for the things they can do for you. We really, really think you should do that. Um, next week, we'll probably have some announcements about coming back east and doing a week or so, a couple weeks run in D.C., Boston, Chicago, um, and maybe even Montreal, but we'll talk about that in a little All bit. Right. Um, why don't we get to introducing our little hungry Hungarian who's got a brand new <laughs> hot jacket on. Uh, he's, he's, also, <laughs> he's also the fourth place prize for the Indaba. He's, he's uh, a fourth place prize? Yeah, you get, to, you get to stand on a corner in Woodland Hills and watch him jog by. Oh, that, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, that's place. impressive. Yeah. But he does go by the name of... <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> How are you, man? Man, I'm good. I yeah. haven't been better. Yeah. Um, so we are. We thought we'd have a year in that was quiet. It's not turning out that way, is nope. it? Nope. <laughs> We're going to spend more time on the plane than anything. Yeah, but I think so. It's but that's, be a good time. those are good problems. Those exactly. Are, those are first world problems, or in some people, some communities, they call those white folks problems. And those are better problems. That's a better grade of problem to have. So. <laughs> Bougie problems. You agree? I have no idea. Do you what want to talk about, about? Do you want to talk about your new DNA test? <laughs> I guess not, not yet. Dave found out some very interesting things about his heritage, so we'll share those in the future. Uh, trips coming up, good contests going on, preparing for 2017, yep. NAM, India, a bunch of, bunch of stuff. 
It'll be a good year. I actually just finished the opening for the Pins Auto Wars 4. Don't tell me yet, please. Uh, I'm not telling you. I don't want to know. It's fire. <laughs> it's fire. Anyways, back to the matters at hand. Um, cool. we, got a, we got a bunch of questions we for do. our guests because they are, they are ridiculous. So why don't we get to uh, your Groove 3 ITL, and then uh, we'll get on with it. What'd you uh, get this oh, time? Oh, we're going to take a look at uh, the limiter in Neutron. Mm. All right, next up, let's talk about the limiter section over here on the right. Just like with all the other modules, there would be an LFE bypass option if we were using this to mix more than just a stereo track. All right, so let's talk about this limiter. It's a digital limiter. The goal is transparent limiting and making sure we have no true peak overflows. This limiter analyzes the incoming signal, so it is going to introduce latency unless we specify that we don't want it to. And since we are looking ahead, it can react quickly to transients, but it's also going to react slowly to steady lower frequencies. It's a really great sounding limiter that preserves transients. All right, so we can turn it on and off here using this button. I've got the entire mix pulled up here. I can turn on the limiter. And we can adjust the ceiling. And here we can see gain reduction. Remember this post gain is actually feeding signal into limiter. So if I turn this up, we're gonna drive more signal to that limiter. Down here at the bottom, we have different modes and then different algorithms. First mode right here is clear and fast transients. The second one is thick for slow sounds, bass frequencies, stuff like that. The third one is smooth, middle ground between the first two. It's a great overall mode and it's great for vocals and dialogue. Next we have our different algorithms. We have IRC2. This is transparent and it is Isotope's famous limiting algorithm. This has higher latency, but it's going to give you better transparency. IRCLL is low latency. Finally, we have hard, which is a brick wall, zero latency limiter. And just so you know, this is not true peak compliant. Now up here at the top, we have a zero latency button. When we push that button, Neutron is going to update all the settings that it needs to to make sure that this plugin is in zero latency mode. And this is across the entire plugin. Sometimes we need zero latency when we're syncing to picture or we have very limited latency compensation. Now, even though zero latency is not ideal, it's still gonna sound pretty good. After that, we have our neutrino mode. And check out the free Groove 3 video already up on neutrino to understand our different modes and then detail and amount, and how this influences your mix. Next up, let's check out the options window. I'll see you then. Boy, I'm excited about this one. Uh, 1500 or nothing is a collective of super talented individuals, really in all kinds of disciplines. Um, clearly hit makers, you know, artists like Bruno Mars and T.I. and Jay-Z and Beyonce and Justin Timberlake, and it goes on and on and on. But also videography, management, education. Um, we are fanboys big time here. Uh, please welcome to the desk two of the folks. Yeah. There are more. Lawrence yeah. Dobson, known as Rance, and yeah. James Fauntleroy. Hey. What Ooh, up, man? <laughs> For history's perspective, just so you know, the reason this picture is here is <laughs> what James. Is the reason? <laughs> the, here is the reason. James graced us early on in Pensado's place and came by. Mm -hmm. And we were just so exuberant and having a good time. He took this picture of unabashed joy. Yeah. And I think it was not because he was with us. I think it was because the interview was over and he's getting away from us. <laughs> <laughs> that is totally untrue. And we man. put this in the book, and these are. Um, yeah. Guys, thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for having yeah, us thanks, again. Guys. It's so awesome, man. Uh, you're just killing it. It's dead. Yeah, Where it's dead. 
but you're gonna still beat it. <laughs> just whatever, just in case it can't come back. Absolutely, you gotta make sure. What was the genesis of the idea when it started? What was the goal and the dream? You wanna answer this? Well, well okay, I'll, I'll start. Yeah. <laughs> when I was young, um, I always had a dream to just be on tour with my friends yeah. and make records and just tour all around the world and, and make a lot of money. Yeah. And um, it started with, you know, just me and uh, maybe like Dan, one of, uh, he was a drummer from yeah. our, our band. And um, it's basically all of my friends that I kind of like. Picked. Turned into yeah, a band. Turned, like, yeah, I ended up having like friends that were so talented that could play every instrument and you know, we all, it, it was just a family type right. of thing. So even right. if, you know, we weren't doing music, we was hanging there together every day or in church or rehearsal or practicing. And right. it just turned into, you know, everyone teaching each other all different instruments and becoming what it is now. now just, just to qualify so that you understand about a dream, we're taping earlier than usual because they have to leave at one o'clock because they're rehearsing with Jay-Z. I think they're on a plane later tonight to Indonesia to do, India, yeah. so to India. Yeah. So when we talk about a dream and you can achieve a dream, this literally is, I mean, isn't it an amazing day? We've been friends for- It's beyond friends. amazing. Um, <laughs> just the length of time they've been together, the the product speaks for itself. Oh I mean, my God, the, the um, records are Some sick. of my favorite uh, live videos and performance videos. I mean, they put on a show, Earth, Wind & Fire style. I mean, they don't just play mm -hmm. like, amazing musicians mm -hmm. they give you a show mm -hmm. uh, everybody in the collective plays 600 instruments right absolutely <laughs> absolutely and that's to audition yeah. <laughs> before you get in so who all's in it who's not here Ooh, that's a list that's a that's a list yeah. i mean it's mine so i'm gonna let him do that again <laughs> <laughs> now it's like a movement but we started off as like an ap's band which was oh, okay you know uh, myself james brody mars Bam, Alex, J. Black, Chuck, and now it's... It's much bigger. Yeah, we got a yeah. publishing company, we got wow. other, we got like three different bands that we yeah. have to, we train. And Is that right? Us. Yeah, because it's just too much work, and right. we're in demand, <laughs> and we oh, gotta cool. get all the money. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I, I mean, you can so be in the band too, man. I can teach you the handshake I, 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 after this. Yeah. I know, I know a, a big chunk of the, of the guys, and, um, how do you guys take such strong, creative personalities and make them work? I'm, I'm guessing, Lawrence, that you're the tiebreaker. You're the one that kind of keeps everybody <laughs> killing each other at certain <laughs> times of the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is a great, like, uh, we could use this to cut to the yeah. drama in the documentary. <laughs> right, right. For sure, yeah. Right. I've seen but that many times. It's, it's, it, you, you want those strong personalities. You want that... that um, unwavering belief in yourself but when two people that have strong personalities but both believe in themselves have two different ideas how does how does the compromise begin i mean Her, herb and i by the way have have that same dynamic we have we're, we're different we get we, we we're we're mostly alike he just slaps me and then, then we move on. No, How do you all do it? <laughs> Ooh, that, that went to a place I wasn't expecting. Oh, no. I don't know if we want to share all that. Well, we all have different egos, but the one thing that's, that changes everything is when we're on stage yeah. or we're in the studio, the music is, is, the king. Is, the, is where the magic comes from. So. And you know what? I don't think, I mean, if you, in music, which we all do, or if you like sports or whatever, it always takes alpha personalities to go to that super level. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There, there's very few passive superstars. Would you, would you agree? Yeah, absolutely. There's some that could be quiet, but that doesn't mean they're passive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care what happens when you deal with James <laughs> and you get cool, laid back, funny James. Mm -hmm. You're also being analyzed. And if you make a <laughs> misstep, he's going to say, yeah. and you're not even going to know no, that yeah. you've been iced, right? Is that <laughs> yeah. true? That is extremely accurate. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> How do you know that? Well, you know, I've been, I've been around for a long time. Okay, I've been spent Jesus, some time. You just blew my cover. Well, the, the beauty of it is, well, one of the things when you look at an organization and you're an organization builder and you look at the dynamics in it, just like people look at ours, you, you just recognize that calibration that goes on. Because a couple of things can't happen. You can't do it without talent. You can't do it without brains. Um, I will tell you one of the things I love about 1500 Nothing, which you've heard about a hundred times from me, 
is we have lots of friends because of what Prince Hollis Place has become. And in the larger hip hop collectives that are known, you know, we got friends in OVO, we got friends in good music, we got friends in TV and so, so forth. You all's capacity to take care of business efficiently, in my experience, outclasses everybody. You wow, get a thank e you. Thank you get an email back right away. You get a phone call back right away. You get something, and then when you know them, you know who you can count on. Like when we book Brody, mm -hmm. we know that we're going to get Brody for certain things mm -hmm. and not for other things. So you <laughs> yeah. sort of you sort of book kinda. Shout yeah. out to Brody. <laughs> Shout out Brody. Who's yeah, going to be on, here? Brody. Brody's busy. Uh, Brody's actually been working with Leandro, uh, Dave's assistant. Yeah. But. But the business aspect of what you do, you can't ever build something that big without taking care of the business. Mm -hmm. Would you Would you agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah. It's not a game. Yeah, right. As right. soon as I personally and all of us found out that you can make money doing this, because I didn't know and neither did any of us. We were just, like he says, and maybe this is true, because I came, like, let's say a couple months after, even though I knew him before, but I came in as like a background singer for yeah, the yeah. band. Wow. But from my perspective, you know, everybody is friends. It's like, it really is like a family. Like our studio was at his parents' apartment for most of the beginning of the Is show. that right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> wow. Um, Shout out to your parents. Yeah, yeah for real. Absolutely. But, um, what am I talking about? Well, the fact that you came together you and then saw it was a business. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. the thing. My brother. All right, so thank you very <laughs> you much. Go, you go. know what's going I'm on I'm with here. you. I'm with you. <laughs> We're together at the top. Yeah. And so, um, from my perspective, it's like everybody is together because they're so good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's such an experienced group that even when it comes down to um, like who needs to do what or what somebody's role is, everybody just falls in because everybody's so good. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So when we all found out that you could make money from this because it was more of a fun thing, a locking in, a, everybody's tight, like, oh man, this drummer's so amazing. Have you heard about him? Have you blah, 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 blah. But when I found out that there was more to it, like rings and things, yeah, right. then mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not playing. I was going to say something else. But, yeah, you know. not fucking around. And that's <laughs> what the fuck I was going to say. <laughs> it's not a fucking game anymore. That's right. It's got rules like a game, but it's very serious. You know what I'm saying? What were the breakthrough projects musically first when you were, what were the things that became hits early and put you on the map? Well, the, not put us on the map, but the band was Snoop Dogg's band. That was one of our first, like, <sighs> Um, steady right. gigs, right? And so, because Brody was like a teenager. Yeah, was Brody was a, literally a baby, holding wow. a bass. Yeah, it was a baby bass. Wow, and he was just up there <laughs> playing uh, his whole entire life. But Snoop Dogg was, I, I feel like, the first person to give us the confidence that we could like do professional things. Yeah. So he gave us uh, our first check, my first check, <laughs> my first check. We split it, and I got five thousand dollars. I don't know how much y'all got. Yeah. I got. I got five thousand dollars, <laughs> and I spent the whole thing on Christmas. So I was immediately broke right after that. Right so away. It was so. It was so. You know, it was a blessing and it was fun, but it let me know that oh, this is really. Serious. We could do this, and yeah. And really make some money. So right. from there, then um, we all. We're going around doing a lot of rap stuff through Snoop, because Snoop had, was hooking us up with everybody. And then there was a point where I like, kind of ninja my way into the underdogs uh -huh. studio. Uh -huh. And I brought, um, everywhere we go, we bring everybody. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Y'all like, <laughs> you know, like a virus. Yeah, we're not like, it's not like MC Hammer entourage style. Right. No disrespect, Hammer, you did your thing. Right, right. But, you know, when we, we, we get in the place, we, we try to bring our guys in. And everybody's so talented that, like, I remember the first real studio session I went to before we went in, it was with Teddy Riley. Um, Shout out to Teddy Riley, too. Mm -hmm. And Lawrence was like, all right, right before we walked in, it's a long story, but I was locked out of my car. That's the only reason I went. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I had their only beat CD. I'll tell you guys the, <laughs> yeah. the story. is a long story. So um, we went because they had a meeting with Teddy Riley, and he right before he went in, he was like, all right, you're my cousin. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, You drove me. Right. <laughs> like, okay, cool. Yeah. So we were related on the door. We went in there. Wow. And he was um, like changing hats or something for some reason. I don't know <laughs> why he had like a, a hat thing he was doing now every couple hours. And he, he walked in there and I was about to sing because, which I don't do, by the way. Mm. But I was about to sing a song. Um, he walked in and was like, why do you look like you're about to sing? It's a long story, but that was like the first, you know, that was right after Snoop Dogg and then working with, oh, was that right before? No, no, that was right after because they yeah. were cutting that song. Yeah. Mm. Um, 
And that was another time. That was me, uh, Lawrence, and Mars. And it was like Teddy Riley is telling us that we're, you know. Yeah, that's confirmation, that right? So that was another huge thing that just, so did you those sing? things are important. That's yeah, I sang. I sang it? and then I rapped. That was the first place. Isn't that yeah. the first place? Yeah, I sang, I rapped, and then we wrote a song. I'll be there. So that was before Snoop Dogg because that was the song Snoop Dogg bought yeah. from us. Yes. Oh, I'll be there. Yes. I'll be there. So, yeah. but, it, but it does happen that way. I mean, Dave and I's experience when we interview guests and I think in our career, you are just kind of constantly on radar for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And when it comes up, you got to step yeah. through the door, right? When the yeah. door cracks, you got to kick it, kick that boy open and walk in and grab it. You, yeah. you can't let it come to you. You kind of, you agree? Is yeah, that? Absolutely. So you guys have always sort of aggressively, but in your own style, keep looking for what's happening until it, now Now you're in the demand, yeah. but, in, but on the way up. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, no, <laughs> or maybe we not. Might be saying the same thing. Yeah. It's, it's more for us. It was about just being tight. Yeah, that's exactly like, what I was gonna like say. If we, you know, we friends. Just the band being tight. Yeah, and the people like, being tight. If, you, if you're tight and somebody here, like most of a lot of the placements and opportunities we had is off of somebody hearing our music and like, who is literally that? Oh, that's our biggest handed. opportunities have been like that. Kind of word of mouth referral yeah. things. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love. And you know what? Well, then the, here's a different testament to you, which is. It's hard. How many years have you guys been together? Well, over 10. Like 12, I think. No, that, that's a testament. Is that Bam up there? No, that's Damon. That's a JV. Oh, that's recent. Guru. That's, the, yeah, that's what I'm about going to Is that Guru today. back there? Yeah, that's Guru sure. right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, he is. We have absolutely. him on a long time. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's been a host in the list. That's our boy. Is there, do you guys make a distinction between the band, the studio unit, and the individual writers and producers, or is it all feeding each other. So in other mm -hmm. words, when you would you take an opportunity with the band to debut a song you think might be good to see if it might make a good song to play some some, some artist or how does all that work? It feel it feels to me like you're you're a band first and then that's how it started. Yeah. It was that. At first it was this is who's in the band, this is who can be in the band sometimes. This is yeah, right. who sings. It was very, you know. You get locked out of your yeah, house. Yeah, it was like, exactly. <laughs> you got locked out of your house. I remember when I came up to the Hollywood house, I couldn't get in. Oh, <laughs> man, yeah, I got to stop locking on some other shit. <laughs> or, or keep doing it. I don't know which one to go with. But um, <clears throat> at first it was like very, you know, clear like who's what, but it, it quickly became because of the family thing and the, yeah. The dynamic that if you are tight, you can hang out with us. You right, know what I mean? right, right. So now it's kind of just, like you said, more like a movement, and everybody's with the extended just... family, like like because there's a lot of guys that 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 are are, are just like 750 or nothing. They're not quite full 1500. <laughs> <Yeah. 1, laughs> how how many is that group? Uh, well, uh, it, it seems like it's, it's about not, 15 or 20. It's not like we have a bunch of random people around. Right. But like, yeah, we I know you got a gang sign. What's um, your sign? We had an audition. Do the gang sign, man. Oh, yeah. It's three times five, man. What? It's a real musical gang. Uh, it's love. not a gang. So if y'all gonna see that, <laughs> almost in every picture. I might, I might start throwing that shit around. Come on, throw it up, man. Yeah, throw it up and sock somebody. Be... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I can't sock people no more. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm taking my punching rights away. <laughs> I can say I'm an affiliate member. Yeah, come on, man. That's I'm what you got to say after you punch him. I'm an affiliate. I'm an affiliate. You can't you know sue them. You only sue us. Yeah. Fatheroy, how many songs do you start a year? Man, um, well, the number has gone down uh, uh, I mean exponentially. I mean well, you're so busy. I can write, like, oh, man, probably 30 songs in a month. Really? How many do you finish? All of them. I finish them <laughs> almost all. If I, if I write 30, I finish 28. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's wow. pretty amazing. And wow. so, so, They're not all good, though. Some so so uh, that's a lot of songs. <laughs> So how many of those in the course of a year might be a top 25 record? Um, well, usually if I'm just like around writing those songs, go to specific things, but most of the projects in my career have been like a sit down, work on the album process. Right. Uh, so that's not my rate of gotcha. you know, how things will happen. Yeah, but then depending sense. on the artist I'm working with, it could be so many songs, or it could be so few songs. So you know, it's just different. That's amazing. The um, it's cool. Now, do you when you farm out to other things like you were Usher's musical director yeah, on his yeah. tour and so, uh -huh. so forth? 
does the whole band come then, or do you do it individually? It's Andrew and nothing. They want Period. me. They got or me nothing. who I pick. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Or yeah, nothing. That's, yeah. that's I mean, real. they try to separate us all the time. Right. For right. every gig, but it's just not happening. <laughs> and then on Kendrick stuff, because you were part of the, the got Grammys for that. Was that from a plan yeah, producing? I, uh, actually produced a song. Oh, there. cool. Me and James. Oh, cool. We got two Grammys. So you all know Ali. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's our boy. Oh, that's our boy. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome, too. Yeah, yeah I, we actually had a panel in D.C. The next one you guys will be on. We had oh, 40, yeah. Ali, um, Guru. Oh, wow. You know, oh, oh, yeah, we, it was it was more than a draw. <laughs> that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it was about 5,000 or nothing. And uh, <laughs> so we, we were going to be talking about we'll that stuff. Don't start a battle, though. No, we'll no, no. Because right, right, I can't, I can't yeah, throw yeah, a game time for that. That's 10,000 or nothing. We got to talk about this later. Um, and, and so, you know, when I look at the breadth of hits, there's just, you know, Brody and Bruno and you guys and just there's just so many. How do you pick now? Because when the when the phone is ringing and people want your stuff, is it gut feel? Is it selective? Is well, it... Although, obviously, somebody like Bruno is duh, no brand or anybody would want to work. With sure. Him. Right. But we've literally known Bruno for 10 years strong. Yes. Like the reason Brody's on all that stuff. And even how I'm able to work with him is because we've known him for 10 years. Like, wow. we all met him before any of these stories yeah. I just told you. Uh. Actually, the day I met him, the song that I wrote with Teddy Riley that Snoop Dogg bought, uh -huh. I was re-recording it. <laughs> and he yeah. gave that song. Is, it must be amazing. I'm like, <laughs> you got to put that song back. Yeah, yeah, that's redo part of that the documentary. Shit. <laughs> um, but that's the day I met him. He came in the studio, and he was the same person he is today. Oh, so. uh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we've cool. all known each other forever. But cool. um, halfway through the, the period of, and you guys know about this. Once you get to the point where you don't have to work with people, yeah. then you stop working with people that you don't want to work that with. That time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing you do. That's right. So um, halfway through my career, probably 80% of everybody I was working with, I either liked them or I knew them or I was a fan of them or something. So There's some even connection. for us, like from the rap stuff to you know whatever the mainstream things we do it's it's a lot of personal relationships and does does your so you got the personal relationships that come in so and so forth and then it seems to me that there is a joy to what you guys do because you're enjoying the music that you're making uh, yeah. on people like there's something that comes through in your records that feel like they're not assignments that you just look sometimes oh, people yeah. do things for cash and make yeah. assignments but there's something about, there's a signature feel to, as large as the group is, to what the group does musically or what you write or that kind of, do you, do you find that it's partly because of your musical taste and what you bring to the table? Yeah, I mean, shout out to our parents. Yes. And uh, just the music that we've listened to and we've listened to so much music our whole life. We're all like a musical crate inside. Yeah. Right? So if I was to make a beat, like me and Brody, we was working yesterday. If we, we'll start something, but, and then just like musical chairs, as soon as he get up, I get on, and, mm. you know, and, mm. but we don't really have to, we don't talk too much. Cause right. it's like a, a chemistry. And one of, wow. I mean, my personal secrets, being a musical director and being able to tour around the world with all of these artists is, I know what the crowd likes. Yeah. So like sometimes before yes. a sound check, I'll just play something in front of, you know, a crowd of 80,000 people right. just to see if they see like the they sound. Think. And they'll go crazy. You go, and then I use go. it at the studio, you know? You, you, got, you got built in focus <laughs> Yeah, I kind of know what, right. what, you know, yeah. what they like. And, Very smart. Yeah. Very smart. And also, honestly, just shout out to you guys because I think when I think about it, while everybody loves their parents, or most people do, <laughs> very few, yeah, some don't, uh, very few people shout out their parents in terms mm -hmm. of what, it, what the in, impact on, on them musically and as people. Mm -hmm. And what you may or may, you probably do know, the couple of people I've talked to about 1500 or nothing who have, have just worked with you and so on and so forth, I've heard everything from the, when you guys go to church, mm -hmm. how you are as people, to just, like all human stuff. The mm -hmm. musical stuff was already there but just the depth of who you guys are as humans. Mm -hmm. And I can, listen, from Dave and I's perspective, I think you agree with this. Don't dismiss how important that is in your musical careers and in your journey, Man. that you're a fully functional human being. Because mm -hmm. the more you bring to the table, 
the more it becomes distinct and possible. You can't just be this robot who uses technology and doesn't care about it. You, would you agree with that? 100%. Right. Yeah. 100%. I mean, well, you three are living proof of this for sure. Proof of what? Being alive. <laughs> that's good news um, did, the, did Lamar just come out with a, um, a mixtape uh, yeah he sure did, did. Yeah. No, no, no time for when, no time off yeah shout did out you to guys Lamar. all everybody work on that one yeah we worked on some Tell stuff we uh, said congratulations yeah, exactly. I, yeah. I wasn't here <laughs> <coughs> no I think time there's off. about six or seven songs I made it halfway through all right. hoping he'd be here today yeah. but yeah. tell him we send love and yeah, for sure, man. Sure. Everybody's constantly working because we want to be tight. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't stop. The um, so all kinds of art school boy Q. What kind of what, what's the upcoming stuff that that you're working on that that excites you? There's, there's probably so much of it. Every day, like literally, just for myself. Last <laughs> week, uh, we, uh, we did a Friday. We did a show, Usher. Um, then we had to do the Hillary Clinton campaign where. We was, I was the MD for Beyonce, Jay Z, oh, and Cleveland. Chance the Rapper, J. Oh, Cole, so and Big Sean. Was that back yeah. east? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, in Ohio. Yeah, yeah. Then it's the big. day I after that, we come home. back to do a show, Usher at the <laughs> Forum. And then the day after that, we have Snoop Dogg at the Complex. So Damn. Just as on the musician side, that was my week. And then, you know, we're in the studio every day after that. I, 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 I went to Sugarfish and had a hand roll. <laughs> <laughs> that was good though. You yeah, did a good no, it was thing. good. It yeah. wasn't. It did wasn't. Good thing. I didn't. I gave money. You you made money and <laughs> had fun. So uh, you give back, man. Um, well, speaking of giving back, another place that we share um, is education. T- tell us the educational yeah. part and where that came from and and why that's important to fifteen hundred and nothing. Well, um, like he, he actually mentioned earlier, part of, or like in church, for instance, um, they have something called a shed. You guys heard of shedding yes, before? Yes. Back there at home? Yep. All right, great. Well, I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Shedding is when, you know, usually somebody takes somebody's church over at night and they probably aren't supposed to be there. I don't know. <laughs> and, um, you know, 10, 20, 30, I've seen 100 musicians come and sit around and everybody just plays instruments to... Mm-hmm pick up techniques and blah, blah, blah. So I've been to a bunch of these things and guys all the time. And so in that same spirit, that's how people get better in that, you know, in that line of work. So as a songwriter and a singer to mm-hmm. uh, people are constantly asking me questions mm-hmm. all the time, mm-hmm. every time mm-hmm. about everything, mm-hmm. things that don't have shit to do with anything. Yeah. So, um, well, that's also because you're very smart. Hey, so take that, smart take that, dance. run with it. <laughs> um, thank you. But, uh, what am I talking about? About again? why education was important. Okay, you yeah. need to learn things. Yeah. <laughs> and then remember. Them. Yeah, there you and go. Then remember them. That's important too, guys. That's why you should take notes. I already know this. So. Right. Anyway. Like <laughs> you just need a friend like her. That's, that's what all I you need in life. <laughs> but education was so important because. And you guys, anyone that's had any level of success, when you're going through that and you don't have help and you don't have those really important, uh, like for instance, and this is really one of the moments that made me want to spread the information I had Mm -hmm. on that Teddy Riley like uh, time in that time period. Yeah, I walked in the room one day, and he was sitting on a on a gearbox with a drill in one hand and Gorilla Glue, and I was like, and I didn't even. This was the first like celebrity I ever been around or anything, and I literally said, "What the hell are you doing?" Here? Right. Because I was just so <laughs> like, "What's going on? Right. Are you okay? Like, right. what's going on?" And he said, "I'm building a vocoder," and I was like, "What do you mean?" Wow. And Teddy then he, yeah, so then he starts telling me about building a vocoder and shows me that he had his tooth taken out like a. Uh, like zap, so he can have a clearer vocoder right. thing. Yeah. Wow. And, and he, oh yeah, thank you. Um, and he's. He's just telling me basically, not only can I do this, I can play the music. And he wasn't bragging, he was just telling me, like, I can play the music, I can mix the thing, I can use all this outboard gear. And he told me, the more you learn, literally, this is where he said, the more you learn about what you're doing, the more control you'll have over what you're able to produce, mm. and the more money you'll make. Mm-hmm. And that last one, I was like, so, all right, my let's job do this. Done. <laughs> Got it. Let's do let's this. Let's do this just yeah. like that. So I really want to, even how you uh, spoke about personality, like that's something that I learned that I wish somebody had told me when I first was fresh off the streets, mm-hmm. um, how important your personality and how you deal with Listen things and people 
Um, that's more important than anything. Yeah, I've seen yeah, people yeah. with the right personality and what I would call the wrong talent. That's what I would call it yep. if I was calling things, yep. you know? Yep. Um, and they're just unbelievable, unbelievably successful, and they deserve it. Like, I'm happy to see these people succeed because they're right. awesome. Right, right. But then you also, we've all met people that are amazing Whew. who just take the soul out of your body. Oh, my God. Not in a good way, like the good thing. <clears throat> you sound like you were at my house earlier. <laughs> so I, okay, I was like, <laughs> took your soul. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> The the thing that I know somewhat about and I'm going to find out a lot more about is because you guys actually have seminars and mm -hmm. people come and learn from you and those people come, you know, we're in that business as well, too. And honestly, for us, I think while we're not a band, we have this sort of traveling group of people that when we go to places are happy to see us mm -hmm. and we kind of get up and do our own performance. But it's in the context of education. Right. Mm -hmm. um, they want to get Dave's perspective on certain kinds Me of things right and mine, well and vice versa <laughs> and and i will tell you no, that i want to learn from dave That's no we're gonna hook you guys up know. right now i just remind you i want to learn from teddy riley <laughs> 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 chongo you and i are out we're out of here we'll the see song you later on the black street record i wore oh, CDs man. Out. What? <laughs> Classic. one of my clients keith andy's comes in he says dave uh, you gotta start over i'm like what do you mean this mix is amazing he goes listen to this and i'm like Crap! It oh, changed the world for no, me. Listen, wow! Listen, no question Eddie about it. Um, yeah, he's that. Yeah, he's, 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 he's that. that. He's a great friend and an inspiration. So, w without getting deep into it, um, one of the things that seems interesting is to maybe take our educational forces and put them together and see what kind of what? magic They're ready for that. Yeah. Especially ready right that. now. Right now. The world is in dire need of education. Yes, indeed. Don't you guys not agree, everyone yes, else? Yes, indeed. Yeah, I know you do. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to be working on that. Stay tuned for that. Are you doing a batter's box? I am. Um, so I got a designer one-off unique. I should for leave. <laughs> uh, I should just product. leave. Oh, I should just leave. This is going to uh -oh. be good. All right, so well, uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, I tried though. Well, and the other thing great. too is I don't want Jay and Beyonce to call us about them being late. <laughs> I, don't, I want that heat. We can do it fast. Yeah, All I mean, right. used to be managed by by Rock Nation. All well, right, so we're, we're together. We were, I, we're, I understand. We're, 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 I, 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 that was part of when I got back involved. With you, I was like, oh, you're rolling with like some cool people, like Jay Fox and shit. So uh, <laughs> this is Batter's Box. Let's tee it up and fire away, Mr. Pitcher, and knock, knock the hell out. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know how to play? No, I'm just rolling. All right. Oh, okay. okay. See, Dave didn't set it up. So I me, did. You did? Yeah. I thought you said you knew. All right. So nah. it's really simple. Uh, that's he's called a floss. Oh, that's, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We're going to fix it on air. Here it yep. is. Right. So he's going to he's going to present like these different things like bass and you'll say I use a such and such or I use a plug-in or whatever so it's just different sort of musical just category one word, just one word answer it's like hot potato all right, like, yeah, all right. yeah. yeah you'll knock this out if both of you want to speak at the same time I'll accept that and you also the answers can be you know fuck you I don't care <laughs> so I there's like no that rules okay. like that. <laughs> That's yeah, wait 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 here's what's funny follow one leaned out and was going to be involved and then when I said that he said oh okay well I can do that <laughs> hell yeah I can do that all right far away Dave okay favorite old school writer Ooh, that's good Stevie Huff. Wonder nice who you got one Gambling Huff oh cool uh, piano or guitar? Guitar. Piano. Mm. Okay. Church chords. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Jesus. Awesome Jesus. <laughs> yeah. mm. Collaboration. Uh, Everything. Dave. Dave Pensado. <laughs> <laughs> Groove. That's, nice. That's nice. Necessary. Melody. Also necessary. <laughs> A lot of necessary. Rhodes. Rhodes pianos. No. Somebody needs to bring those back. Yeah, man, I let's do one. it. I'm yeah. literally selling mine. Hell yeah. Oh, okay, there you go. That's the thing. Okay, drum machines. Lindrum. Ah. Okay, we, we do this thing, uh, Lawrence, that um, where I say if, if, you're, if your studio caught fire, what piece of gear would you rescue? If the if the fifteen hundred nothing studio caught fire, which person would you rescue? <laughs> oh no! That's, oh, that's you don't tough. Have to answer that. That's tough. Good got, job, guys. I got, no, wait, I got one. I got one. Plugins. 
Ooh. Uh, DVX 160. Okay. <laughs> um, Sigma. Okay. D16. Ooh, ooh. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Uh, and one of your best batter's boxes, I must say. Okay. Don't you guys think? Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, they went, yeah. They went all of 1500 or nothing on it. Um, well, that's from my 1995 or nothing day. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, the only reason this is stopping is because time is short and you got to be out. Um, what I would like to, I do this on air, but I'm telling you, I'm coming to Inglewood. Come to Inglewood, Come on. We hang in. We're, let's find ways to make um, the thing that we're such a fan of. Like, this is, I, I got to. Thank you. It, I'm almost speechless, which is rare, uh, because I know what it's like to build an organization. It's kind of what I do. And I know what it's like to keep people together for a long time and make money and so forth. One of the things you guys will notice is that Dave and I both have retinal failure, and it's because the bling coming off their watches <laughs> under these lights, literally, like, I'm, I'm over tweaking. Uh, <laughs> and that's, so when we tell you that collaboration oh, is good, no. being with talented people is good, Sticking with a game plan is good. Getting to a goal is good. And making sure that becomes a master of what you do and give in to our craft and honor it and celebrate it mm -hmm. while you're celebrating family and good stuff. And it can pay off. Yeah. Here's a perfect example of that. I can't wait to get to Inglewood. Uh, we are Come huge on, fans. Man. Thank you. Shout out to everybody. Mm -hmm. All the business people, because I want to hear all those who those folks are. Your team is out here doing what? their thing. We love it. Uh, <laughs> DP, take us home. Wow, what do I what do I say? Uh, I, I'm envious. Um, yeah. Um, it's creativity uh, is so much more fun when you can uh, look to your left and go, "What do you think about that?" And look to your right and go, "Is that good?" And and get answers and help and and. Um, Thank you. Uh, yeah. I think um, I think a little element of what they do seems to be catching on now. There's a lot of different camps and camps and this, but those camps are are. They're, they're flawed because it's usually the guy at the top and everybody else suffers. But the thing about this organization is uh, everybody's equal and, and the product speaks for itself. So that might be something you want to take into account. Mm -hmm. Love these guys. We'll see you next week.